Hi, this is Chris Dixon with TAC Technologies. We're shooting this video to demonstrate how to apply a color to the tip of your sights. Uh, the process is pretty easy and it only requires a few items and no uh, requirement for capital equipment. What I have here is a tray of Blend 21, a pail of water, I have some tagged adhesion promoter. This is what you can decide to use or not use. It provides enhanced adhesion to the black oxide. Uh, here I've just got some samples of uh, a, a fluorescent type green that we cut up from another decal. Uh, I know that you like to uh, tip yours with hunter orange or fluorescent orange, but I just didn't have that. So we're going to use the fluorescent green as a representation of um, how to apply the color. Here all I have is a wet paper towel, and uh, you'll see here in, in a minute uh, how to use that uh, with this application. So what we would supply you with is some blocks or printed blocks of color on a carrier stock. This white carrier stock is uh, just there to hold the color um, in the, onto the paper while the application is being made. So we can try to get this to the size that will accommodate the variety of uh, different sites that you have. So to get started, what we would do is we would just simply place a few of these onto our wet paper here. This is just water wet, and uh, the, wa the water will be absorbed into the paper, through the paper, and it will dissolve a sugar coating that we have on this paper stock, and that's what's going to release the ink from the paper. So it's only there to hold, that sugar coating is only there to hold the ink in place uh, until the application is being ready to be made. Now this is a non-traditional application for us. We typically will just take a transfer, dip it into the activator, squeegee it on the part and remove uh, the, the carrier stock and just the ink will stay. But because of the size of these parts, this is probably uh, a good direction for us to get started at with this particular application. Okay, once the um, paper is put on the, the water wet paper towels, what we're going to do is just take an eyedropper, okay, and we're going to just simply um, drop our Blend 21 onto the ink. Um, we're also going to use this Tagit, and I'm going to just quickly coat these um, sites with the Tagit. The Tagit is uh, something that evaporates extremely quickly, and what it's doing, though, is it's providing uh, an added layer of adhesion for the ink transfer. Okay, so once the um, the tag it has been applied to the site, all we're going to do now is we're just going to take our color and we're going to line it up on our site. We're just going to press down and what you'll see is the ink transfer. So you can see we have the whole block that's come off and I'll show you in a moment how we're going to trim the excess color off of that block. After the application is made, I'm just going to dip it into the water bucket, and that starts to neutralize the ink. I'll take our next site, which I've already um, applied the tag it to. I'll take a couple of drops of the Blend 21 activator and uh, just put that onto the ink. Then again, I'm going to line the part up and just going to press down so that the ink uh, forms to the surface of the site itself okay and again there's a lot of excess ink here because this is just what we're working with in terms of decals we had on the shelf i will show you how to trim that back here in a moment i'll do a couple more of these again you can see the process goes pretty quickly um, you know we can set up as many pieces of of color as we want and then the operator can just come in and you know do the application one right after the other. You'll probably find a good mix of of uh, um, how many parts they want to do. I don't know if I dip that last one in the uh, the bucket of water, so I'm gonna just uh, put the water on there just in case I didn't. But anyways, the operator can come in and do as many parts as they want at a time. And we'll just finish out this last one, and then I'll go back and I'll show you how to trim away the excess color. Okay, okay so now I've decorated the uh, four sites, and uh, they've got the excess uh, ink uh, that goes beyond 
the part itself. But we can trim that now or we can trim it later once the ink has dried a little bit. Uh, you can accelerate the cure on this if you wanted to you know, put it in front of an IR lamp for 90 seconds or so. That'll pretty much dry the ink that's overhanging. Uh, that'll dry that up and then you can come back and trim it. But to trim uh, these is quite simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take an X-Acto knife and we're simply going to scrape away the excess ink off of the part. Okay, It's better to do this when it's dry, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to just show you how to do it now. So I'm just going to trim on all, all the sides just so you get the idea of how this is done. Okay, so that's basically all, all we're gonna do. Um, again, I wanna express it's easier to do this once the ink is dried, because right now the ink is, after it's been um, activated with the Blend 21, it's in a kind of a semi-liquid state, so it, it wants to be a little bit soft or gooey at this point but once it's dry it'll be overhanging and it'll be brittle and it'll come off the part a lot easier so okay again I think you get the gif of what we're doing here and you can see how we can clean that part up we can get the excess ink off even in a semi liquid state so um, then your tips uh, would be decorated in the, whatever color you wanted to do that's how easy the process is you can accelerate the cure on the ink or you can let just let them dry, air dry overnight either way um, once it's fully cured it has very good scratch resistance and good tape resistance on your part if you have any questions please give me a call you can reach me at 815-363-7030. Thank you.